You're watching KMAC Red Raider Nation's Countdown to Tip-Off. Hey, and welcome back in to Countdown to Tip-Off. Eric Kelly, David Collier. It's time for a game that Collier is actually decent at, mainly because we don't post the results the next yeah, week. I was about to say, hey, it's the X Factor we said last week, I said Kevin McCuller. They lost, Should've but he was still the listen to your own advice. Yeah, I know. Okay, crashing the board. So let's we'll start with this one. For most of the season, I think we've just assumed Texas Tech is a lock to get in the tournament. Yeah. But bad non-conference. Mm -hmm. You had one good win. That tournament, now that we look back on it, how good would a win in oh, the just, Las Vegas tournament Just one. Been? Yeah, it would have been. And, and you look back at that DePaul game. We were talking about this earlier this week. DePaul, 13-13 and 13 now. <laughs> They're not good. That's not a good loss. So... Losing to Oklahoma State last week. You mentioned TCU on the road. You lose to Iowa State today. Are the Red Raiders on the bubble? Are the Red ma Man. Uh... And it's kind of tough because it's a little bit relative. What exactly is the bubble? Bubble-ish. I'm going to go with yes. So, yeah, kind of bubble ish And I think it's not as... I guess the loss today hurts you because what you have ahead. I mean... You're, you're at Oklahoma. That could be a loss. You never know the way they've struggled on the road. But then ending with Kansas and Baylor, I mean, yeah. you gotta, you're going to lose. You might lose two I games. I say yes, mainly because of that same thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to beat Kansas and Baylor. And I think at that point, you almost have to. Mm -hmm. And even if you get in, it might be for last four in. you got to play in Dayton, bad seating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's it certainly possible. It could all possible. go downhill with a loss What's in Iowa State. That? Okay, so... We saw a lineup change mm -hmm. against Kansas State with Kevin McCuller. Beard says that we like to do lineup changes a lot. Will the question is Will minus injury? Yeah, will minus we injury. see another one this year? I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. I mean, you never know if if uh, T.J. Shannon or Terrence Shannon, whichever you prefer. Yeah. I go with Terrence Thank because that's what, um, Yeah, uh, if Terrence has a good game, you never know. He could work his way back into the lineup. Obviously, not playing great right now, but. Uh, and, and to be fair, how quickly do people come in and rotate in and out yeah. anyway? I'm going to say no because I think Kevin McCuller would be the one that you take out. I think he's a perfect fit for what they need. Defense, mm -hmm. they have plenty of offense yeah. on the floor right now, and he fits that need. Okay, yep. headline. Headline, all right. I don't even know what show, what network this is on. Can I say, I don't even know if I can write this. So long. Yeah, this is really okay. long. You go ahead. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna throw back a little bit last. Okay. La to last year with the <laughs> old town road woes oh, continue. Oh wow! You, I, I think, think you won finally. A, I think it's gonna be a tough, tough game on the road at Iowa State. You talked about how good they are at home, mm -hmm. despite how bad they are in general. So it could be a tough. Well, game. and they have for other reasons. I mean, they don't want to be the bottom two seeds. They want to maybe be the sixth seed in the Big 12 tournament. So they, yeah. It, and Tech they, hasn't come out strong in any of these games against bad teams. Mm -hmm. They just get lucky because when you're at home, they just finish stronger. They don't if, exactly do that. And if them. Iowa State does start hitting threes there, I know we've talked about the defense. You could uh, find yourself in a hole quick and have to catch up hitting threes on the road. I don't know if I want to do that. I'm just going with Young and the Reckless, which could... It's a good one. Yeah. Do yeah. soap operas all stay on the same channel? I have no idea. We need to ask somebody I'll else. I'll go call my that. mom after this. All right, let's take our final break here on... Actually, we had to do the Big 12 slate. Let's fly through this Big 12 slate. You mentioned it earlier, Kansas and Baylor. How about that matchup? Not just the best in the Big 12, best in the country. Number three against number one. That tips off at 11 o'clock. A couple of 1 o'clock tips, West Virginia. Uh, behind the Red Raiders, but ranked still in the Big 12 standings. That's kind of weird, taking on TCU. Texas at Kansas State. 3 o'clock in Bedlam in Stillwater. And, of course, Red Raiders and Iowa State at 5 o'clock. Now it's time for our final break here on Countdown to Tip-Off. When we return, it's time to pick three really bad players, if you're me. <laughs> and add a bow tie to his collection. Then Ryan Hyatt joins us once again, maybe with a surprising prediction in the final call.